What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're not using Shadow Rider Calyrex. We're not using Ice Rider Calyrex. We are rocking out with regular Calyrex. Now this Pokemon right here, I have never used before in casual or competitive play. So it should be fun. It is a Psychic and Grass type. We're going to be pairing it up with terrain such as Grassy Terrain with Roll Boom and Psychic Terrain with Indeedee. The power-ups moves such as Expanded Force and Giga Drain should be fun. Again, never use this Pokemon, don't even know its stats, don't know much about it, but it's a legendary and it looks really dope. I'm ready to rock up with this Pokemon. But Calyrex over here has Unnerve as its ability and it's rocking the Choice Scarf as its item, making it outspeed pretty much any Pokemon. Furthermore, we got Expanded Force, big time damage, Giga Drain, we love that for damage and HP recovery. Furthermore, we got Snarl for special attack drops, and last but not least, we have Psy Shock, which is a nice little single target stab move. Other Pokemon on today's scene features Tornadus for support. Tornadus, great support Pokemon with Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind Protect, and Rain Dance for a little bit of weather control. We got Ndidi and Rolboom, like we already mentioned, and then our final two Pokemon are going to be Incineroar and Ogre Pond. Incineroar, I don't even need to talk about, you guys already know what that Pokemon does, and Ogre Pond. I don't, I don't think I'd say anything about this Pokemon either. It's a big time physical attacker. Very strong, has been part of the meta for a good bit now. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Calyrex team. Now, before we get started with match number one, I mentioned that we don't know anything about Calyrex, so I want to check out its stats. Rocking a decent special attack is that with decent speed. We got the choice card for speed anyway, and then its defenses, both 100. This Pokemon's just solid all around. It's just solid all around. HP 176. We like that, but we're going up against the Trapgos team. Trapgos, pretty bulky Pokemon, pretty strong Pokemon all around. So, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? One thing that screams at me is they don't have any terrain control. They can take out terrain with Trapagos' uh, terrestrialization. So maybe I just want to go into like Rillaboom and Calyrex. That could be pretty good depending on who they lead here. Right? It could be pretty good depending on who they want to lead. Because uh, Chiyu going to be a little bit of a problem. Tornadus could be a problem because obviously they can go into uh, Bleak Wind Storms or Heat Waves. But you know what? I'm going to go Calyrex. And I'm going to end up going into Indeedee here. I think both of them are solid. I do think both of them are solid. So that's going to be my lead. Um, in the back end, I am going to bring in Ogre Pond. And last but not least, I think Incineroar or Rillaboom should be in our best interest. And I think I'm going to go Rillaboom because if that Earth Fuse Water, we definitely need something to kind of get after that. That in the pre Marina. So let's see if they end up leading here. Thrap goes, I feel like I struggle up against it. It's just a Pokemon that's very solid. It kind of just spams Terra Star Storm. And it's bulky all around. So if I can get rid of that thing, we could be potentially sitting in a solid position. But I don't know. Traffic just gives me a problem. Just gives me a problem every time. So let's see who they lead. Who you got cooking here? No traffic goes? No traffic goes. Water Earth food. That's fine. Calyrex indeed does pop out here. Um, I got the Choice Scarf, which is awesome. I got the Choice Scarf. I love our typing here with Calyrex. Um... I think Expanded Force is just in our best interest, and we could pop Trick Room, or I could just, like, stay attacking. I could go for Follow Me if I want to, but you could go for Bleak Wind Storm. But I will outspeed you at that point. Um, hmm. Definitely want to go for Expanded Force with Calyrex. I might even want to Thrasalize, and I might just Follow Me here. I might just Follow Me. I could double down. I'm going to double down here. I'm going to end up Thrasalize and go into Expanded Force. I doubt you're going for a Surge of Strikes in this, into the Calyrex slot. I'm just looking to do some damage. Let's see. So he ends up withdrawing this thing. Are you going to go into... Chiyu? I feel like Chiyu's going to fly out here. Yeah, Chiyu. Smart play. Smart play. So Chiyu is going to fly through here. Now we're sitting in a, a, a weirder position, right? It's a bit of a weirder position because I only have psychic moves on these Pokemon. Unless I swap my Calyx, which might be in our best interest. Let's see what they do first, because I'm Terrasalize, and I'm just looking to get off some big-time damage with Calyx here. But that's a solid swap. So, Expanded Force, gonna fly here. How much damage is this doing? Can we just KO this Tyrannus? That'd be awesome. We don't. Super close. Luckily, I did double down into it. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly. Doing some nice damage on both my Pokemon. No speed drops, hopefully. Of course, they're gonna get all the speed drops in the world. All of them. Psy Shot gonna fly. Bop, bop, bop. See you later, Tornadus. So Tornadus dies out here with no Tailwind, no supporting moves. I'll take that all day. 
Now, if this she used Choice Scarf, that's a little rough because I would love to get off another turn with Calyrex. I think what we should do is maybe just hard swap it out. Let's see if they go into Terrapagos. Oh, man. I hate Terrapagos. I hate Terrapagos. Hmm. And now we're sitting here with, like, a weird kind of position. I actually kind of want to pop Trick here. I actually want to pop Trick I'm going to pop Trick Room. And I think I'll just attack. I think Papa Trick Room could be very beneficial for us. And we'll go for Expanded Force into this Pokemon. He might actually just Terrasalize here. Yeah, I was going to say, he might Terrasalize just to get rid of the Terrain, which is kind of smart. Help out with some damage. And... Yeah, Terrapa goes from here is kind of tough. But I have to pop Trick Room because I feel like this uh, Chi is going to outspeed my Ogre Pond. And if I can just outspeed it in the Trick Room, that can be very beneficial for us. Because we don't have Terra anymore. So he takes away my Terrain. Heat Wave's going to fly here. Indeed, he does soak. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to get off Trick Room. I am not going to be able to get off Trick Room. But I can fake out next turn. I can fake out. You're actually making me think your Choice Scarf. You're definitely making me think your choice scarf. This thing has no boost, which is good for us. I think that you used choice scarf because it outsped my choice scarf, uh, Calyrex. It was minus one, but still. Should be pretty fast at that point still. So I'm thinking I could just fake it out and maybe just go for an Ivy Cudgel this turn. Unless they want to go into a hard swap into Urshifu again. That is an option. That is an option. That is definitely an option. Maybe instead of fake out, do I just attack? Just in case there's a swap? I could fake out you instead. But then you get off a heat wave, which I don't like. I'm gonna double down into you. I'm gonna double down into the slot. I'm doubling down right into you, even though Terrapagos is such a big threat. Man, I hate playing up against Terrapagos. This one's not looking good for us so far. But not a bad match so far. I mean, Calyrex's doing pretty good. The speed drop kind of hurt me a little bit. I should have an expanded force off onto this Terrapagos, but it wasn't like it was doing any crazy damage. But he's gonna end up withdrawing Terrapagos, which is fine by me. Terrapagos with the withdrawal. If Terrapagos comes back in, does it destroy terrains? I'm gonna be so upset. And you are not choice. Oh my lord, you're not choice. You're not choice. I might learn something new here. Is this gonna destroy terrain if he swaps back in? Is this going to destroy terrain? I do have Assault Vest, which is really nice for my Roll Boom here. Ivy Cudgel should be able to finish that off. Um, do I just go for Grass Glide, or do I go for Wood Hammer? I think I just go for Wood Hammer here. Let me just Ivy Cudgel this slot. I'm cool with that. Let's see what they do. I'm going to be so upset if you swap to Rap Ghost and it destroys terrain. I kind of need this terrain. I like the damage output here. It really helped me out. So let's see, he's gonna withdraw or does this take out terrain? It better not take out terrain! I did not know if it does or, or doesn't. And I feel like it does, because why else would you swap him? It doesn't. Okay, cool. Heat wave's gonna fly here. Roboom soaks with the vests. I get burned? Are you kidding me? I get burned. And now my IV cudgel does a KO! Oh, man, we were actually sitting in a pretty good position if we weren't burned. If we weren't burned, I think we win this game because then IV Cudgel KOs. I could Grassy Glide the Urshifu the turn next turn. And then I'm pretty sure we should be able to survive a shot and then go for Horn Legion KO this Trap Ghost. That is just ugly. That is just so ugly. But we're going to go for Horn Leech here. We're forced to go into Grassy Glide. That is, that's brutal burn. That's a brutal burn. That's a brutal burn, man. That's a brutal burn. Kind of hurts the soul, man. That, that, that's the type of burns. That's the type of RNG that hurts the soul right there. He ends up protecting to you. Smart play there. Um, Grace guy's going to get blocked. Man. That one definitely hurts. So let's see how much damage this Terra Storm from does. So if it doesn't KO us, we probably would have won this game. But if it does our ogre pond then we would have lost regardless and no we died regardless but maybe we would have survived if the burn damage wasn't there you never know you never know but ggs to our opponent here solid first match trap goes just getting the best of us
Moving on to our second match for today's video, and I definitely wish we could have seen how that first match ended if I didn't get burned. Definitely would have been a lot closer, and we could have had maybe a shot at winning, but GG's to our opponent. We're hopping into our second match, going up against a Ho-Oh team, and something that screams at me is no weather control, no terrain control, which is good on our end. Actually, they do have grassy terrain. Grassy terrain could do me a little dirty, but... Oh, oh, looking a little scary here. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to bring in a Pokemon like Ogre Pond to kind of deal with a few of them, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I mean, I could go into Tornadus here. A little bit of speed control wouldn't be bad for the squad. Um, They do have Shen Pao Dragonite, which uh, makes me want to bring in Indeedy for the lead. And honestly, I think I might just lead Indeedy Calyrex. I think that's fine for me. The problem would be Shen Pao. Shen Pao is a little scary, especially with that dark typing. But I mean, are they going to lead it? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm going to go in with both of them. I am going to end up bringing Ogre Pond. And last but not least, I am going to go in with Incineroar. I think I'm cool with that. I don't think we need speed control with Tornadus, considering they don't have any speed control. So I think we're fine just going in like this with our choice scarf. I'm cool with that. Plus, we could go Trick Room if we do see that they're just like outspeeding us in general. You know, we should pop Trick Room, have that going for us. Let's see. Let's see. But we're 0-1. We definitely need this win here. Let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Shen Pao Dragon. So we do get off the Psychic Train, which is rather nice. I mean, Ice Spinner looking a little scary. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here and, and lie. Ice Spinner looking terrifying. And that typing right there is looking terrifying. So I could honestly just follow me out and let Ndidi die out. That's that's not bad. I could pop Trick Room. Um, I could swap Calyrex. Swapping Calyrex isn't a bad play. We're even swapping in DD. I think we swap Calyrex. I could just expand in force. Look, do some damage on the Dragonite. Then we probably we would die to Ice Spinner. Huh. Yeah, I said we swap in DD here for Incineroar. We're gonna we're definitely swapping in DD for Incineroar. So I'm gonna swap in DD for Incineroar from here. Um, I could just Sarasalize and pop an Expanded Force. Because we outspeed and we could do some damage to Dragonite. But chances are it's multi-scaled. But I'm actually fine with this. I'm fine with this. They end up withdrawing Dragonite. So Dragonite gets the withdrawal here. They're going to go into Rillaboom to change up terrain. Wow, you really change up terrain like that? A little booger. A little booger. But Intimidate's going to intimidate two physical attackers, which is good. That's fine by me. So he wants to change up terrain. We save our DD for later. Terrain could be nice. Incineroar flies out here, and if I had to guess, they're probably going Ice Spinner into the Calyrex slot. Considering it's grass, that's why we did Terrasalize, but I kind of wish they didn't change up the terrain here. Kind of wish they didn't do that. So out comes our Terror type, going into Psychic. Still going to boost Expanded Force, should still do a nice chunk of damage onto Rollaboom. And we'll see what they want to do here. It's definitely Ice Spinner from Chen Pao, right? Throw Trap, actually, so that works even better. Their Throw Trap, we're soaking all day. Expanded Force flying. Love it. Doing some nice damage. How much damage are we doing? Half damage. We love that. That's some solid damage. That's some solid damage. It looks like another Expanded Force will pick up the KO. And from here, I could go Flare Blitz. I could fake out. Um, I could honestly just hard swap. I could honestly just hard swap. And just save Incineroar. Like, they're already intimidated, which is wonderful. Um... What do I want to do? What's your speed? You're slower. You're slower. I'm going to fake out the Shin Pao slot. If they want to fake out Calyrex, they can fake out Calyrex. I'm going to do that and just go into another Expanded Force. The Shen Pao is just going to protect. That's fine. Robum, I wonder what you're doing. Are you faking out anybody? I don't think you are. You know, for a grassy guy, Woodhammer? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're just dying? You're just dying. Right? Calyrex is picking up KO. You're just dying. Okay, we like that. We like that. So we have Indeedee in the back end. Shen Pao's minus one. I would love to get Incineroar another swap so I can fake out slash intimidate again. But I like our Cal- We might want to swap our Calyrex too because Ho-Oh's coming in here. Yeah, Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is here. Ho-Oh is here. I might just Flare Blitz you. Bring you down to one HP could be great. Um, could swap the Calyrex. We could honestly swap the Incineroar. I 
I honestly think swapping in Sinnoh is probably the player. Going back into Indeedee, because now that the real boom's dead, we can have full control of Psychic Train, and we can just keep throwing expanding forces. Then it's just withdrawing Shen Pao. Oh, dude, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So it's a good swap for us. Dragonite's going to fly out here. We reset our Incineroar. And I get back Psychic Twin. So no E-Speeds for you for the rest of the game, pretty much. Five more turns. No E-Speeds for you. You and all your flying type of Pokemon. And Expanded Force takes off Multi-Scale here. It's going to hit. We're out speeding with the Choice Scarf. Love it. Expanded Force flying. Getting after it. We love it. How much damage are we doing here? Oh, well, how much damage are you taking? Not bad. Dragon ain't actually taking a lot of damage. Raper gonna fly through here. Calyrex soaks. That's huge. And I'm out speeding. And I'm out speeding. So from here, um, I mean, follow me probably in our best interest. And then just go for another expanded force. And look for double KO. Oh, yeah, I like it. So chances are they probably hard swap somebody into Shen Pao, considering they would just die out here. And yeah, it's gonna be Dragon. So Dragonite's gonna die out here. Or not die out. Dragonite's gonna swap. Shen Pao's gonna fly through here. We have follow me, ready to go. Ho, oh, what are you doing? That's the real question. That is the real question. Ho oh, is just gonna protect. And I mean, from here, we're just gonna send another expanding force. And I think he's gonna want an ice spinner here. Most likely, right? We could pop a trick room. We could pop a trick room. And that might be in our best interest to pop a trick room. The Shen Pao's just so fast. I'm gonna pop a trick room. I really do think that's in our best interest to go trick room here and then just expand the force. That helps out my Incineroar too. We're gonna see a terror type pop out here from Ho Oh? Most likely, right? No, Shen Pao's gonna get the terror type and it's gonna go into straight dark type. I mean, you can't sucker punch me. You got Throat Chop for some damage output. And Throat Chop's gonna fly here and. Why are you out speeding my Calyrex? Why are you out? Have, has that thing always outsped my Calyrex? I don't know, but it, this turn's working out fine because Expanded Force is going to KO the Ho Oh. We're now popping Trick Room after we use our Focus Ash. That works wonders here. And we still have our terrain, so no E speeds allowed. The Trick Room is here. We love a good old Trick Room. So we pop Trick Room, we're going to take speed away from the Shen Pao. And from here, I could go follow me and drop another Expanded Force. I could, and that actually seems like our best bet, right? So I'd rather you take out Ndidi, and then I can just Expanded Force to take, take out the Dragonite. You have no double hitting moves, correct? Yeah, because the turn order should go Ndidi, Dragonite. Calyrex, then Shen Pao. So if I go for follow me, like I am doing here, Dragonite should hit the Indeedee. Then Calyrex should go and just finish off this Dragonite. Yep, there's Aerial Ace. Beautiful. And Calyrex should go first, right? Yep, there we go. Everything's working as I planned it. And we can take out Dragonite. So Calyrex, dude, killing it with Expanding Forces second match. Killing it here. Critical hit. It was dying regardless. So now we have Trick Room out and about. I can go into Incineroar and have some speed. Have some speed. Incineroar and, and uh, Ogre Pond. This worked out perfectly. Good swaps on our end, getting Incineroar in at the right time, swapping Ndidi at the right time, then bringing back Ndidi, setting that terrain, allowing him just not to be able to set up and just use East Speed and just take us all out. So, cool. Love it. That should be pretty much game, right? Especially with this Intimidate. This Intimidate really puts him under, right? Honestly, like if they if I wasn't intimidating them, Throw Chop could do some big time damage with Dark Terror type. Can honestly do a lot of damage, but I'm just gonna go for a spike shooter. I'm just gonna play this one smart. Because I already know actually I can fake out this turn. What am I doing? I can just fake out. So I'm just gonna go Ivy Cudgel, fake out the Shen Pal. And he's gonna protect this turn. But honestly, it, it's it's gonna be a pretty easy read for me to just go into a spiky shield into Ogre Pond. Let's be honest, if I spiky shield Ogre Pond, he's going to be attacking that slot with Throw Chop. Like, that's a fact. That's a fact. I don't even have to, like... I don't even have to think about it. I'm just going to go into spiky shield here and then go for Flare Blitz. Like, I know you're attacking this Ogre Pond. There's no way you're going for Sacred Sword into Incineroar. There's just no shot. There's just no shot. 
So four points flies here. Just KO. Okay, we get a crit. We just KO. All right, you know what? That, that works. That works even better. So I guess we'll never know who Shen Pao is actually attacking. But there it is. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. So guys, we're sitting one and one, and I would love to grab ourselves a winning record here. But we are going up against another Terrapagos team. I hate going up against them. They are super annoying. They definitely are. But they also have Gallade. They got Raichu. They got Galarian Moltres. Serena over here. And last but not least, Amoongus. Um, who should I lead here? Who should I lead? Terrapagos is so annoying, man. I could go into, like, grassy terrain with Ogre Pond. That could be decent. I mean, if they lead Serena over here, then it wouldn't. Same thing with, like, Amoongus. But they could lead Amoongus. They could lead Amoongus, and then at that point, we can't go to sleep because we have two grass-type Pokemon. I mean, I could honestly just go, like, 1-2 right here. Calyrex and Rillaboom, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that because I can always snarl with Calyrex and kind of just drop Terrapagos' special attack. So I do like that. Plus, they're both grass-types. All right, I'm cool with that. In the back end, we are going to bring, I think, Incineroar and Ogre Pond. I think we're going in with the same squad here. I liked it. I like it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So turn one, I can fake out if need be. I can snarl if need be. I think I have a lot of different options. I can always swap into Incineroar too. But I don't think they have many physical attackers, right? Raichu? Is Raichu even physical attacking? No, I think it's more special attacking. So I don't, they might not even have a single physical attacker. Up oh, Gallade. Yeah, Gallade is one. Uh, but Moltres Galade can come out here. I can pick out pretty freely here. I can also Giga Drain pretty freely. Um, I am scared of, obviously, the Moltres. Moltres is looking a little scary. The Moltres is looking rather scary. So I am going to just fake out the Moltres. It's not allowed to do too much. Um, I could start snarling it, but I think I'm just going to choice into Giga Drain here. I'd like to do some big time damage to Glade. I could snarl. I think Snarl is going to be in a little bit better interest of ours. Yeah, I think we have to lower Moltres as a special attack. I really do. Considering they might just pop weakness policy here. So I'm going to fake that out. Snarl is going to fly here. Do minimal damage, but still, I have to drop this thing's special attack. I have to. I have to. This thing's just a flying type Pokemon ready to get after me. So Snarl is going to come out here. Sacred Sword is going to fly into this slot, and that did a lot of damage. A bit more damage than I would like it to. Okay, so now from here, I mean, Fiery Wrath can do some damage too. I think we just Snarl again, but we go for a Grassy Glide into Gallade. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go for Snarl, I'm going to go for Grassy Glide. Lower Wrath and Special Attack, another layer. So I might lose a Pokemon here, but at the same time, I think this is these are some solid turns that we need to do. Especially with the lead that we led. So Snarl is going to drop this thing to minus two. Fire Rat's gonna fly through here, and Calyrex, you should soak. You don't. Was that a crit? Was that a crit? Oh, come on, man. I do all that for what? All those special attack drops just to get, just to die out to a crit. That's so ugly, man. And then Sacred Sword is gonna KO Roll Boom. Come on, man. All those snarls for nothing? For absolutely nothing. All right. I still feel as we have a shot at winning this match. I mean, we got Ogre Pond. We got Incineroar. Cinnamon is going to drop Gallade's physical attack. Um, Ogre probably might just want to Thrasilize. Get that special defense boost. Again, a lot of special attackers on this team. The special defense boost could work wonders. It could work wonders. So from here, we do get off that Intimidate. I am scared of the Sacred Sword. Um... Honestly, we're just going to Terrasilize, and I'm just going to throw an Ivy Cudgel. I'm going to double down to Glade with a Fake Out. End up withdrawing Glade. Wow. Withdraw of Glade. You just protecting Moltres? I hope so. Okay, you're just going to swap into that. That's actually pretty good. That's a great swap. I'm surprised they're not swapping uh, Moltres here. Being minus two. I'm going to Terrasilize this thing. I mean, I got Flare Blitz ready to roll. I do have Flare Blitz ready to roll into that Serene slot. I'm going to embody aspect up, grab my special defense boost. Kind of tough here. We're in a weird position. Fake out's going to get neutralized by Queenly Majesty. Such good ability. And no protect coming out from the Moltres, which is kind of weird. I think I'm just going to fly in this slot. Do minimal damage. I mean, a Flare Blitz will KO that. And this thing's just going to set up a Tailwind. All right, so Tailwind is here. Um, 
Honestly, Spiky Shield Flare Boots might be in our best interest. Well, just might just swap here too. Yeah, I like that. Spike Shield, Flare Blitz. Let's send it. They could Terrasalize. They still have it. They're just sitting in a way better position than me. Spike Shield comes out here. No Terra, which is good. No Terra, which is good. This could be a solid turn for us. And Fire Rat's gonna fly here. We know he's not doing that much damage unless, obviously, he gets crits like he did to my my Calyrex. And that does, what is that? 11 damage? And you set up, you have screens too. Serena over here just setting up. Flare Blitz gonna fly here. Should still KO you, right? Of course not. Of course not. Reflect just doing me dirty. I'm hoping me. Oh my god, you gotta bury too. You gotta bury too. Another Flare Blitz will KO you. Yeah, another Flare Blitz will KO you. Um, you could hard swap out. Moltres just getting back all of its HP. Maybe I can get a crit with my Ivy Cudgel. That could definitely be in our best interest. That could definitely be in our best interest. So I'm going to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. Launch it into that slot. And I'm just going to stick with a Flare Blitz into this uh, Serena slot. Of course you have Reflect too. <laughs> Reflect. It's so good. But yeah, they end up finally withdrawing Moltres. Smart play on their end. Finally get that special attack back. And Glade's going to fly through here. Which might just be a free KO for us. Tropkick's going to fly through here. That does damage. That does damage. And you get an attack drop. What is up with all this RNG, man? All this RNG. Now we're not going to be able to KO here. No, we do KO. All this RNG going crazy. But that just puts us in a terrible position to have a shot at win this game. I really need that attack boost. I really need that. Like, we got burned last match. We get attack drop this one. We pick up the KO there. Moltres back up to its full state. Um, we still have a special defense boost. So maybe we can rely on, like, a crit from Ivy Cudgel. That's in our best interest, but they got reflect up now. I do get back to my HP, which I love. I could go for start going for horn leeches in this terrain, but I was gonna say terrain's probably ending this turn, which it does. Awesome, just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. So Terrapagos, there's that Pokemon. Just beating me up today, Terrapagos teams. Just having a tough time with them. This is a real tough time with Terrapagoses. Moltres comes back out here. That pretty much is just, just, that's just game, right? You can just terrestrialize get after me. I mean, I can spiky shield here and maybe just knock off your item. Maybe start putting shotting into that. Let it knock off its item. I am going to knock off this thing's item, but we're definitely spiky shielding. Gotta send that. And we'll see what trap goes wants to do here. Probably combine with the terror shell. Fire Wrath gonna fly through here. Gonna do minimal damage to Incineroar again. Yep. And Meteor Beam's gonna fly through here. That's into my Incineroar. Why you got Meteor Beam? I don't know, but it's working. <laughs> this thing's rocking Meteor Earth. Meteor Beam and Power Herb. Oh my lord, just everything going wrong with me up against Trapagos today. But hey, hopefully you guys still did enjoy today's video. Trapagos just giving us the works. But I, I still think Calyrex did really well, especially in match number two. We showcased it pretty well. And if they didn't crit my Calyrex there, probably would have had a better shot at winning this match. But hey, one and two for today's video. We'll take that one on the chin. To be honest, guys, I understand why Shadow Rider Calyrex and Ice Rider Calyrex are being used way more than regular Calyrex. They are just superior and a lot better. This Calyrex still wasn't bad at all. We go one and two for today's video, and we do show it off really well in match number two. But again, the other Calyrexes are just way better, and you, if you guys really want to push ranks, you should be just using those Pokemon. But I'm glad I got to showcase this Pokemon. I love to showcase every Pokemon on this channel, so if you guys want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.